Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to make your first FL track. This is for beginners, okay? This is for someone who knows really nothing at all about how FL Studio works and is curious enough to understand how to make a track, their own music track. So first of all we use FL plugins. We won't be using third-party plugins. We use an FL's uh, plugin database. So we go to uh, plugin database, go to installed and generators and we go into Fruity. Okay. Now up here this is the channel view and this is the track view. This here is the track view. That's it there. Expanded. Okay. That's the track view. And this here is the channel view. Okay. So in the channel view you have 808 kick, 808 clap, 808 hi hats, 808 snare. Okay. So I've only got about 15 minutes. I'm going to try to get through this if we can. Okay. So first thing you want to do is you want to have a melody in your mind. Uh, best off to grab FL keys. Okay. And this is a piano, as you can see. Okay, FL keys. And I'm going to put a grand piano because I like that. And okay, so once that's done, um, you hover the mouse cursor over the little box and you put that onto track number five. As you can see, it's highlighted here. Okay, and it's highlighted up here. So we're going to click into the box here. Okay, and you pick. Um, we pick a couple, let me see. C is quite good. C is the key of C is is uh, the scale is easy on C, so we go for C. Okay. Um okay, so hold your finger on C T R L and the left mouse button and drag up like so and then pull all of them out to one side. Okay, like so. And what you'll have is Okay, and we're going to do that again. We're going to press the CTRL button and um, we are going to this time press the shift key on the keyboard and the left mouse button and drag it out to one side. That copies it for you, okay? Okay, now we're going to do this another few times. So, what we'll do here is we take the two of these and once again shift and the mouse button left mouse button okay and there we have four okay now what we'd like to do here is you like to create a melody so that's what we got at the moment okay now so we need to change that so maybe bring that up a little bit um i don't know bring that maybe there and bring that one down. Okay, that's all right. And uh, what we're going to do, we're going to copy everything here. So, what you're going to do, you're going to press CTRL and A, the letter A on your keyboard, CTRL and A together. And now you're going to press CTRL C. C is for copy. Okay. And we're going to paste it. So C T R L and V for paste, and there you go. Okay, so now you have all that many notes to work with. We can get a bit creative. We can put another note here for the piano, and where else uh, we could put that? Maybe here. See, what, listen to that and see how that sounds. Okay, and uh, Okay, try that there. Okay, and we put one more to end it. We put it right there if you can. Okay, and we move this out a little bit.
OK, that's good. So we'll use that. Um, and that's OK. So now we've got a, a, a melody all here, OK, and the bottom as well here. And the next thing we want to do is create a bass line. So I'm going to close this for a moment. And we're going to, uh, because this is on pattern one, this little box, uh, your the, the mouse cursor, the little triangle arrow, turns into a paintbrush. So put that in there like that, just by left clicking on the mouse. We go and create pattern two. Pattern two, okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go for a base. We need a base, okay. So uh, let me see. We have boo base here, okay. And we're going to drag it onto the track view, and we're going to put it onto number six, okay. We put it over there, and we go into uh, into here into uh, okay, and we're going to try to make a bass lick or something. Oh, let me start in C. We go down to C5. C5 is good. Uh, what else we have? Um, that's four, okay. So we put that there. Uh, here is fine. And okay, that's fine. And what we're going to do here, we're going to uh, close that. And because it's on pattern two for the boo base. We're going to paint it in there as well, okay? Now that's a bit too much there, it's, it's a bit too... Yeah, okay. So, I've gone over that there. Uh, so what I'll do here is I'll go back into the boo base and I'll select everything. Once again, CTRL and left mouse button and take everything down halfway and move it all back a little bit. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, we try that. That's all right. Oh, is it? Um, no, it's still off. So I see where I've gone wrong. I, my mistake. I'm sorry about this. So what we do here? We drag that back here. We drag that here. Drag that here. Okay. Right there. And we drag that there. Right there. I was thinking I've seen the whole lot as one 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 big note. <laughs> one big note. So okay, and here we go. Okay. And we try that now. Okay. That's better. That's much better. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do here is we will um put it onto song. So now it's on song instead of pattern. And that's what you got. Okay, we're going to copy this. Oh, I keep doing that. So, CTRL, left mouse button. Put your finger on shift, and there you go. Okay, and uh, keep these notes nice and tight and in line. Okay, here we go. Okay, and here. And we. Too low. Try that there. Soft there. That's all right. So I'll set for that. That's a bit odd at the at the bottom at the end of us, but I like it like that. I like something a little bit odd like that. So, I'm going to close that. Now we have uh, this song here. You know, a piece of music, shall I say. Okay. And that's that. And that's how it sounds. Now, I don't know how much time we have left. Um, uh, so, what I'll do here is I continue this on a second video on how to lay a rhythm. Okay, a rough rhythm over the rough melody. This is not serious. Don't take it too serious. I'm only showing you some ins and outs to how to use Fruity Loops to get someone started with how this is all done, okay? So, for now, uh, I go to the next video. Uh, you'll find it there on YouTube. Okay, thanks.